Hi friends, I've gotten uh, a bunch of questions about this Notion um, budget template that I set up for 2023, so I figured I would just record a quick video and kind of run through it um, and, and explain things the best I can, I guess. Um, so full disclosure here, I am definitely not a Notion uh, like wizard. I have watched a ton of YouTube tutorials and gotten templates, free templates from other creators, and then just modified their templates to work for me. Um, and so that's kind of what this is. This uh, budget template is actually a hybrid of three different templates, and those are all linked in the resources and graphics. So if you're looking for the original um, creator templates, then go check that out. All right, so when you log into the budget template, you will see up top there are three pages, a savings dashboard, the credit card payoff, and then the resources and graphics. You also then have your annual overview. Um, the annual overview is broke down by quarters, so quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. You can also see all months if you want to there. The um, next section there are is the credit card um, payoff tracker and I'm going to talk about that in just a second but then there's the income and the expenses pages and so with these um, I'm gonna actually launch this page let me find the menu and go to the income page so from the income page there's only January filled out and to I'm sorry February is also um, to make this what you want you just want to rename these whatever it is that you um, you know that is appropriate for you you can also add and delete some of these um, if you need to so you can add an extra one or you know you can just delete if you don't have that many pay periods you can delete those um, the tags you can add and uh, change the names you can add a tag you can change the names of these tags you can change the colors of them by hitting the ellipsis or those three little dots do whatever feels right to you once you have january set up then um, most people have the same types of income every month maybe not the same amounts but the same uh, jobs. So once you have this all set up, then you can on a computer, I haven't figured out how to do this on an iPad, but on a computer, um, you can highlight all of the columns of that table, right click, oops, right click, duplicate, and they'll all still be highlighted. So then you want to hit shift in this little six button, like six dot button here and go drag it down to the next month. So then you see, oh shoot, I already had it there. Um, then you can see that, uh, so I'm gonna highlight all those, find an empty month. Looks like November's empty. Highlight all those, grab them. So make sure they're all like that darker shade of blue, grab them and then drag them down to whatever month is empty. And so then that makes it, if you open the page, you'll see that that is now November. And then um, like this one is March, because it's under the March category, little toggle down thing. So that's how you duplicate into each of these empty months. It's the same thing for expenses. So if you go to the expenses page, you want to, I just put a bunch of dummy ones in here with dummy amounts and, um, you know, whatever. But if you don't have, um, if like you rent instead of a mortgage, you can change this to rent. Um, if you prefer to put your phone provider's name in there so you know what bill it is, that's fine. Um, whatever it is, you want to rename these to whatever is significant to you. Retag them as necessary. Um, add or delete anything that isn't pertinent to you. So, um, you know, if you have another loan that you want to add in there, you can do that and that's fine. Um, so that you um, can copy and paste this. Sorry, I'm not good at thinking and talking. Um, so that you can copy and paste this then to uh, each month, okay, until that loan is paid off. So, here's what you do same thing 
you're going to want to drag and highlight this whole entire thing. Right click, click duplicate. That will be highlighted at the bottom. And you're going to want to hit shift and drag that all down there. So now all those bills are in February. If the amounts are different, you can go change them. You can delete those and start over and do whatever you want. All right, so that's how to copy and paste those into each thing. Um, now, this is important. Once you have that part set up, you're going to want to go back to that template home and go to the annual overview and click on each month's page. So we're going to open February and you want to add in the income for each month and the expenses for each month. So here's um, some expenses that I had added in, but you can see these are all tagged February. You want to make sure that everything with a February tag is tagged in the expenses and then all the income with a February tag is added here into this income section. So let me see if March is there. So this is what it would look like, um, but with a bunch of different months. So all those little lines that you just copied and pasted into each month will have their own tag. And this is a little bit time consuming, but I think it'll work out well um, once you get them all sorted out. All right, so that's the annual overview, um, your income and your expenses. And then let me show you the savings dashboard. So the savings dashboard, um, all of the cards over here, the gallery view is just a gallery representation of the data that you put in over here. So whatever you put in here is automatically going to update over here. Um, you put in your savings goal um, of how much you want to save. And then so um, let me show you. To put your savings goal in, you can just rename these to whatever you want and change the um, amount, or you can click down to this original database up here and go to the savings, and then add your information here, which is what I did because it was just easier for me. So you can change the name here, um, you can put in the total amount that you want to save for that item there. This is going to automatically formulate and give you, um, you, you will have to populate the date that you first uh, made the payment when you enter a payment to your savings in just a second. Um, but you will then see how long it, it is expected to take you um, to complete that savings goal. So that's kind of cool. And then um, back over here, to do add to the payments, um, all you do is click new. Sorry, my dog's streaming and you can probably hear him. Um, and it'll automatically choose cash because we're under the cash item. And then you put your date in there. And then um, the default minimum is the minimum that you are contributing to that every time you make a payment. So my minimum is 20 bucks towards the cash box. Um, but say I um, put $100 in there this time. So you can put in the custom amount instead of the defaulted minimum and it will adjust for that. So the cool thing about this is, is that over here it shows you that on the cash envelopes, uh, my goal is to save $3,000 and so I still have $2,880 left and I should be able, if I save $20 at a time, um, I should be able to save by January 4th, 2035. So. Let's hope it doesn't take quite that long. Anyway, so that's how to use the savings dashboard. And one last thing, the credit card payoff. So the credit card payoff is actually the savings dashboard. I just reconfigured it to work for um, a credit card payoff tracking system. Okay, so the credit card payoff dashboard, um, my goal this year is to pay off all of my credit cards and I'm hoping that this will help me um, stay focused each month when I am paying bills to do that. So 
<clears throat> what you want to do to use this table. Uh, first, you want to go over to the cards table and enter in or change all the names of these cards to be the credit cards that you want to track or pay off or whatever, right? So um, once you have all your card names in, you can then add in the current balances, the minimum monthly payment in this cards table. So um, my Chase Amazon card, I just paid it off yesterday. So my total balance was $654. The minimum payment was $35 on that um, card. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom and enter the payment for it that I made. So I'm going to pick my Chase Amazon card. And then the date that I paid it was yesterday. And the custom amount that I paid was $654.51. All right, so now I've got my card information in there and my payments. And if you go over here and look, um, it will tell me, so my Chase Amazon card was paid off. And so um, the it says it's been completed because it's at a zero balance. And I should wonder if I can change this to. I can. So now it'll say payoff goal completed. Right on. Um, but, <laughs> sorry, I digress. So over here, you can see that on my Apple card, um, I had a balance of 728 and um, the minimum monthly payment was 151. I ended up paying 384.41, and so that leaves a balance on my Apple card of 343.59, um, and then it should be paid off by April. So that's what I'm hoping this will um, do. I do want to put this disclaimer out there though that this does not calculate um, interest. Also, it's just whatever the total balance due is for the day that I'm paying the bills. So just throwing that out there. I'm not like, I don't know how to, how to do all that. The math doesn't math for me. Okay. All right. And then lastly, um, my goal is to always make sure that I keep my um, credit utilization under 25%, 30% is what the credit bureaus say. I try to keep it under 25%. So I put um, a bunch of cards in here. You can add all of your cards and then um, put in the current balance, the card's credit limit, and then it will give you a utilization. And then the visual representation of this list is what is back over here on this uh, credit card payoff dashboard. So you can see that I've got four cards where I'm using less than 10% of the available credit. I've got three cards where there's 10 to 30%, and then one card where there is um, 30 to 50% of the available credit. So um, that's kind of how that works, and I think that's about it. Um, if you have questions, you want to check out those resources and graphics. There's a bunch of graphics in here, um, all the graphics I made for my um, budgeting dashboard or whatever. Um, so you can check that out in here. Um, I put as many icons in there as I could find. There's also, these are, are my cards. I don't know if anybody else has these cards, but I also put blank ones in there for um, Apple and Amex and um, Citibank, Synchrony, Discover. Oh, I'll also upload one in there for... Uh, Chase too. I forgot Chase. So um, I have a ton of Chase cards. All right. I think that is it. Um, that is a quick like 15 minute overview. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I hope that helps. Take care guys.